How can you win, win, win by partnering with other businesses? Uh, how many other businesses do you have a connection with where you can actually add value to each other's clients and help cross promote or uh, do a joint venture together? This is the topic of today's uh, episode. It's just been inspired by uh, one of my clients. She just sent, sent, sent me a message and has really explained how so many business owners are terrible at this. They suck at this. They have no understanding of how to create a win-win-win relationship. And what do I mean by win-win-win relationship? I mean, if you can connect with another business owner and help them grow or further or add more value uh, to their clients, they get a win. If their clients then get some value from you or from the relationship, they get a win. And then, of course, if you get some return or some benefit from that, it's a win-win-win. Now, let me share with you a few examples of how can we create um, some, how can we create a partnership with another business? What are the ways that we can do that? I, I first learned this when I first came into business coaching. I went and worked with a leading coach uh, in Melbourne in Australia. And one of the clients that we had was a leading photography uh, studio. And they take this really great artwork, they put it on great canvases, um, take pictures and put people on great canvases. Now, what what I learned was we asked the question, who else has a relationship with the kind of clients that they want to work with? Who else already owns the hearts and minds of the clients that they want to work with? And they, the kind of artwork they were selling was a little bit more expensive, so it was a, a premium customer. And they realized that these kind of customers bought Mercedes cars or BMW cars or Audi cars. So they decided that they want to make a win-win-win relationship with a BMW, an Audi, or a Mercedes. So they went to Mercedes and we had them approach Mercedes and explain to Mercedes how they could add additional value to their clients. Okay, now what they were gifting was they were gifting a unique opportunity, it might have been a thousand dollars or twelve hundred dollars, something of that nature, an experience for the Mercedes customer, at no cost to Mercedes, to come to their portrait studio to have a uh, photo shoot with the family and to get a free piece of artwork to take away with them. Now, for Mercedes, this was great because Mercedes get this uh, amazing gift pack, is valued at over $1,000. They can gift it to a client as they purchase a car and it costs them nothing. So Mercedes are like heroes because they can give them away $1,000 of free value, okay? The client is uh, happy with this because they get this great opportunity to take their family for a photo shoot where they're gonna get treated, looked after, and they get a free piece of artwork. And of course, it's then a win for my, my, my client because as the person uh, then comes into the photo studio, they have a great experience with the client, they know who they are, they can refer this client uh, you know, to other people, but more importantly, most people didn't only leave with the one free piece of artwork. They saw the pictures and the quality and they want to take two, three, four, five, or six, uh, maybe sometimes even 10 pieces of artwork, and of course they would pay a fee for that. They would, and, and of course the whole strategy was uh, very profitable. Now, this doesn't, uh, if you're a smaller business and you know we don't need to go out and get you connected with a Mercedes or a BMW or an Audi, this works in principle in many different ways. Uh, I've got a client who, he does financing, he helps small business owners get financing. So we thought about this, the question was, who already has a connection with the kind of clients that he wants to work with? And we thought about it, there were many different options, there were business coaches, there were accountants, there were lawyers. Now, we decided that accountants or CPAs would be his best route. So we had to think about what would be a win for the accountant for him to get an introduction. And so what he decided to do for the accountant was the win for the accountant was that he would go and give a presentation on uh, how easy it is to get finance, how ways that we can get finance to grow your business. Now, the accountant was happy with this because the accountant could say that he's paid for the expert to come in. My clients come in as the expert. He puts on a presentation. His clients get value from the presentation. Okay, so the accountant looks like he's doing a great value-added service for his clients. The clients feel like they've learned something. And as a result, some of those people in the room then wanted to work with my, my, my client in order to uh, help them secure finance. Now, his business has over doubled as a result of this. And uh, that's only the start because you think if he's in association with a handful of accountants, if he gets a handful more, it can double again. And so there's this great opportunity, great possibility here to connect with uh, another business that has your idle clients. Um, let's think even more creatively. There was another group of people I work with. There was um, a real estate agent, a financial advisor, an accountant, and a lawyer. Now, all four of those came together to create an alliance together. Okay, they came and they did a presentation together on buying property. 
okay, how to buy property, how to get, uh, I think it was the first time buyer's grant and, and those things, they're putting together valuable information. Now, the value from their alliance was they had four people presenting on one evening. They each were targeted to bring 25% of the clients to the room. Now, in theory, if they all brought 25% of the clients to the room, they uh, then then ended up with what three people for every one that they bought could see their presentation, their information, and get connected with them, and potentially then buy their accounting service or their financial planning service or their uh, their real estate service or their legal service, whatever it was. So there's no limit to the amount of ways that we can do this. Um, I have another client uh, who has a beautiful retail space, and in the retail space she sells home furnishings. Now she provides great value because people can come in and use her space. They can bring her customers, use her space uh, at little or no cost to her. And when they come in and do that, the, the, the partner who's bringing these people in, they get a quality space from her, okay? They get great service, she looks after them very well, they feel um, like they're well taken care of when they're there. So the customer, uh, the, the, the partner that she's working with gets the space for free. Now, the customers get an amazing environment they get the, the workshop that's being put on by the partner. And then for my client with the retail space, frequently because the quality of her home furnishings are so good, people then know where she is, what she's about, and then they end up buying her products or services or referring people to her products or services. So here's another way. Now, what I wanna share with you, where, where did the inspiration for this come from today? Uh, as I said at the beginning, one of my clients uh, was explaining how other business owners really suck at this, right? And it's frustrating now, why? Why do they suck? Why would I say such a thing? Is because too frequently, business owners approach other business owners to make uh, an alliance arrangement and they focus on what they're gonna get, how they're gonna win, without putting any thought or attention in how the partner is gonna win or how the partner's clients are gonna win. So if you like the idea of this, 100% go ahead and do it. It's a great way to grow your business. But if you're gonna approach someone, approach them with what is the win, win, win. How are they gonna win first? How are their clients gonna win? and then how you're gonna win. If you lead with how you're gonna win or how, or how it's gonna make a difference to you, not gonna be interested. There's too many other opportunities out there. So uh, this is it for today. Go ahead, look for the win, win, win. And I'd love to hear, this is, this is a fast growth strategy. Go ahead, get connected with a handful of partners and you can have continual ongoing revenue streams and income. Uh, it's it certainly served me very well in my career. I know it's kept me uh, a handful of good alliance relationships, has kept me in a continual stream of work and clients. So, okay, that's it for me. Have yourself a great day. I will be back tomorrow.